We're standing right now in one of our five hectare greenhouses, which makes up part of a 20 hectare farm here in Australia. We're looking at about 180,000 tomato plants, and they produce about two truckloads worth of tomatoes that go for nationwide distribution at Cole supermarkets every day. This is a world's first, so we're harnessing the sun's energy to desalinate salt water to create fresh water to irrigate our crops. When the sun comes up over the Flinders Ranges, the mirrors reflect the sun's energy to a central point on the tower. At the top of the tower, you see a very bright light, and that bright light is basically the focus of all those 23,000 plus mirrors onto the central point. The partnership that I formed with Rainier in setting up this business was really fortuitous. We both knew, considering the increase in population, that we had to address the food shortage, the water shortage, the energy shortage. About five kilometers away, we have the Spencer Gulf. We pipe in seawater to a pipeline underground into the first two ponds. The water is being then pumped to the multi-effect distillation unit. That's where it's being converted into fresh water. When you think about all those input costs in traditional agriculture, you're a complete price taker on all of your inputs, and that creates a really volatile business model. And we said, how can we move away from that? We built a very small pilot facility in 2009. We were only two people at that time, and then slowly but surely, over the years, grew by one or two more. We have the best of both worlds because we are a small, agile company. But on the other end, we benefit from the support from a fairly large and well-capitalized financial sponsors. This is the part where the fruits are going to be formed. So it's very, very important that this, is, that this is looking good. And what we're looking for here is we're looking at the color of the leaves. We're looking at the, the strength and the thickness of the head of the plant. We're also looking at the, uh, the trust development and all of the nutrition is delivered through the drip feed irrigation system. So this provides our water and the nutritional needs for the plants. Once our plants start producing, we'll harvest one truss every week and we'll grow one new truss every week. Mid-summer, we'll produce 15 to 20,000 five kilogram cases per day. The relationship with Coles is really significant that we have here. It's a true partnership. It's to the extent that we haven't seen historically. Because we do everything in a controlled environment, we know what our input costs are, and we're doing everything on a renewable basis, we can provide real consistency of supply, a higher quality product at a better price year round. We have an agreement for 10 years to basically sell all our tomatoes at a fixed price, and that enabled us to put on the ground here, a fairly large piece of infrastructure. When you have a growing category and then you have these 100-year weather events that are happening every two to three years here in Australia, coals would consistently find themselves without quality product or with no product. So Sundrop really partnered with coals to provide a solution. Sundrop Farms is a triple bottom line business. We produce a better product that's better for people and better for the planet all year round. What we do in the future may not look exactly like this facility in Port Augusta, but it'll always have those core tenets, that triple bottom line nature of the business. Whether we're growing berries in Tennessee or peppers in Portugal, I think that spirit and that sense will be a part of everything that we do.